Talk to a broke person. Talk to a broke person who's whining and compla complaining all the time, can't pay the bills, can't find a job, don't like my boss. And you'll notice it's always about one thing. Me, 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 me. Broke people are so selfish. Michael McLean, BrassBallsVideos.com. I am an ex-professional hockey coach, ex-amateur championship hockey coach, turned eight-figure entrepreneur. I'm a husband, a father, and a small business owner just like you. If you would like a free copy of my brand new book, Five Ways to Unfuck Your Life in the Next 30 Days, you can grab a free copy below at BrassBallsVideos.com. Just put in your email and I'll email you the book, uh, the PDF within five minutes. Just a word of warning about my brand new book. Um, it's not every entrepreneur's cup of whiskey. I wrote this book for champions, not for chumps, for winners, not for whiners. It's only a 22 page book. You can print it off and read it in 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, you can use it to get your shit together if that's what you need. We all need that from time to time. The free link is below. So it's amazing. Um, there's the difference between poor and broke, okay? I mean, there's people in certain circumstances who have run on top on tough times. They've been poor, making money is not a priority, whatever the story is. But when I run into people, what I call brokies, people who are always whining, they're always complaining, they're always making excuses about why they have no money. I always find them to be the most closed mind, most scarcity minded people. I want nothing to do with them. As a coach and a consultant in business, my worst prospect or customer is a brokey. And when I call somebody a brokey, it's somebody who has a closed mind and they always have the mindset, well, my circumstances are different, Michael. Um, I don't have all your advantages. I didn't have a father who was an entrepreneur. I didn't grow up in your country. It's just one excuse after another. But what I find with brokies is they're the most selfish people on the planet. As, as my dad always taught me, he said, son, there's two types of people in this world. There's givers and there's takers. And he said, you know, if you, if you focus on being a giver and you focus on helping other people, if you, felt, if you focus on solving problems, not being a problem announcer, but solving problems, he said, money will naturally be attracted and flow to you. He said, you know, he used to always he'd tell me, he said, you know, money is a skill. Money making is a skill. I didn't know that. I was like, Dad, how, how have you had so much success in business all these years when you grew up in a non-entrepreneurial family, abandoned at birth, adopted as a, as a newborn? He didn't have any role models for business or entrepreneurship. How the hell did you become so successful in business? And my dad said, well, that's what the library is fucking for. You know, that, that, that place with books, that's what it's for. He said, I had some mentors, I had some role models. I looked around and made sure I did the opposite of, you know, the normies and the civilians who are dead ass wrong about everything. But he said, the library was also my friend. He said, because money making is a skill. Marketing is a skill. P pickleball is a skill. You know, being a, being a, a plumber or an electrician or running a restaurant or being a father is a skill. Fitness is a skill. So he said, he said, I came from a broke family, a very, very broke family. He said, they didn't know, they didn't know anything about the money game. They didn't know how to attract money. They didn't know how to keep money. They didn't know how to relate to money. They had the wrong relationship. He said, so I, I took years and years and figured out the money math game. I figured out that money was a skill. I read books, I studied articles, I watched TV programs, and I learned the skill of money making. Now, 90, 90, 99 out of 100% of broke people 
they're horrified by that story, right? They're like, oh, they, anything. They, they have a laundry list of excuses. They've completely bought into the nowadays me, 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 me culture. Talk to a broke person. Talk to a broke person who's whining and compli complaining all the time, can't pay the bills, can't find a job, don't like my boss. And you'll notice it's always about one thing. Me, 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 me. And people in 2024, they've now, uh, now they've, they've gone hook, line and sinker. They bought in, they have bought into the victim culture, right? Ah, uh, the reason that I can't make money, the reason I'm broke, the reason I can't pay my bills, the reason I can't start a company, I can't build something, I can't create any value. The reason, a laundry list of excuses, is, you know, I was born in the wrong town, or my skin color is the wrong color, or I'm the wrong gender, or I went to the wrong school, or my dad was an alcoholic, or it's just on and on. I went to the wrong high school, I went to the wrong, uh, it's just one excuse after another. And this is the thing about victims and about takers. It's me, 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 me. It's, 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 it's like, it's like a disease. It's like the, it's the disease of the selfish person. So when you have a person who's a giver, who m m making money, a person who makes a lot of money, the common, common denominator is they help a lot of people, right? They take action, they execute, and they solve problems, and they build products that solve problems, and people want these, pro these, these products, and they help a lot of people. And hence, they become wealthy, and they make lots of money. It's the opposite when you're a problem announcer, and you're a taker, and it's all about me, me, me. You're not creating any value. You're not helping anybody. You're not contributing whatsoever and you're not solving any problems. And then a person wonders why they're in a dead end job or why they, they can't find a job or why they, they, they don't have any extra money or they don't get a raise because they're not creating any value. But it all goes back to scarcity mindset versus abundance. And guys like my dad and when I learned the, the money game, like I was willing to study for two decades to figure out the money making game. Just like, you know, learning to skate or learning to swim or learning to throw a baseball. I was willing to read all the books, study all the newsletters, go to all the seminars. I was willing to invest in myself, even when there was no immediate return. Because I knew that money making was the long game. And if I kept studying wealthy people, if I kept studying ma ma uh, uh, money, if I kept studying wealth attraction, I used to think it was BS, woo, woo, woo. And when I learned the skill of money making and marketing and sales, then all of a sudden there was this massive tipping point where all of a sudden then money just started flowing into my life. I respected money, I appreciated money, I knew how it, how it was repelled and how it was attracted, and I never looked back. And I just kept focusing on giving. I kept focusing on creating. I kept focusing on solving problems. What problem does this industry have? How can I serve it? When I went into the, uh, the, the insurance business, the first question I asked myself, okay, what's, what's the biggest problem people have that I can, I can solve in the insurance business? And then we went about solving that for 17 straight years. We were in the problem solving business. How can I make your life better? How can I help you sleep better? And it was give, 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 contribute, 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 solve problems, solve problems, and the money, the money followed. Same thing in the barbershop business, a simple business like the barbershop business. Before I created my first store, I stopped and said, what problem can we solve in the barbershop business, in our community, that nobody else is solving. And then when we had that one thing, we went about solving that problem. And we solved that problem for seven straight years. And we became the number one barber shop in the whole country. Giving, 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 solving problems, solving problems, helping other people.
making their life just a tiny, tiny little bit better. And that's, a, that's an abundance mindset. And also having a, an attitude of gratitude. I notice that most wealthy people that I'm around, most of my students that are rich, they're wealthy, they're successful, they've got, they've got a lot of money, they also have an attitude of gratitude. They're a pleasure to be around. You know, they, they write a check for $100 or $500 or $1,000 to my daughter's Terry Fox cancer run the other day. They love to share their wealth. They love to give. They love to help people. They love to serve other people. And they have this attitude of gratitude that broke people don't have. With broke people, it's all, you know, save, save, save for this. Waste your money on this, 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 this but they give nothing. They absolutely give nothing. It's amazing. My most generous students are also my most successful. They're generous with their money. They're generous with their time. They're generous with their expertise. And they just have this understanding that the key to living is giving. And brokies, it's the opposite. It's like, how can I take this? How can I make this about me? How can I make this win-lose? How can I, you know, grind this person down on this deal? And money hates that. And wealth hates that. And they make themselves radioactive to wealth. A person who's wealthy, a person who knows the money game, a person who knows that money making is a skill, they make themselves magnetic to money. Money hates scarcity. Money hates selfishness. Money hates you know, um, takers and, and, and that closed mind attitude. And these are all the things that I had to teach myself. I learned some of them from my mom, some of them from my dad, some of them from other mentors. But at the end of the day, I had to teach most of the money skill to myself. And it was fun studying the Warren Buffetts and the, the richest people, most successful people in history. It was great to learn how they operate it completely different than everybody else. And ever since then, you know, when a person ever asks me a question about money or marketing, I'm like, it's just a skill. And it's a skill that you can teach yourself. It's a, it's a skill that you can give your children, but it's just a skill. It's no different than golfing. It's no different than, uh, than playing pickleball. It's a skill. But the majority of people, especially the brokies, have no interest in putting in the time and learning that skill. Uh, an excuse is a lot more convenient than actually rolling up their sleeves and figuring the money game out. So uh, talking about the money game, I have my badass brotherhood uh, live mastermind. It's the only time you can get live coaching this year from me. It's coming up October 29th and 30th in Orlando. And I got a couple of open spots where you can just come to the two day event. These things are are worthwhile. You know, we work on money making, we work on email marketing, we work on, on marketing other, we, it's two day closed door meeting in Orlando. I got a couple of seats open for people that want to join us, entrepreneurs, small business owners. Um, it includes your breakfast, your lunch, the two days of meetings, uh, the guest speakers. But if you're in a rut or a slump or you need a mental kick in the pants, Maybe you plateaued coming up to the end of the year. If you're looking to, to give yourself a shot, a, a shot of adrenaline, this might be something you want to look at. It's, uh, it's $2,500 for the two days, which is a steal. Uh, I want high end. If you want to get around other high end people, get the power of association, iron sharpens iron working for you. This might be something to look at. Uh, a couple of seats available. If you're getting this email and you're interested in attending, two-door, closed-door, I'm also doing a special training I've never done before, um, how to go from zero to 100K a year as an email copywriter. And I'm going to show you how to do that in weeks, not months. But how to go from zero to 100K a year as an email copywriter, writing your own emails, growing your own email list. That's one of the special presentations that I'm putting on. If you're interested in learning more about the mastermind, just reply to this email with Orlando Mastermind in the subject line. 
If you're watching this on BoobTube and you want more information, just put Orlando Mastermind in the comments below. Orlando Mastermind, and I'll send you some more details. It's $2,500 for the two days. It's absolutely kick-ass and take names. Uh, and like I said, there's a couple of spots for just the event to join my regular brotherhood. Um, we have a couple of open spots where guys can't attend. And if this is, if you're looking for a two day mastermind to, to give yourself a shot of adrenaline heading into the new year, this might be your cup of whiskey. Uh, put Orlando mastermind in the comment or in, uh, or reply to this email if you're watching it or watching it that way. Two words that change my life, two words that can change yours. Be relentless.